Big Egg Ronin here. Welcome on back to the Retrocade. It is Wednesday, and that means we are carrying on with our first time playthrough of Final Fantasy VI for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Episodes 51 and 52 we should be able to bang out today as we are getting close, I promise, to the end of what has been a truly epic role-playing experience from 1994. If you've been enjoying the content so far, best way you can show it is to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Ring the bell to be notified of the latest content. Also, don't forget we have Sports Saturday and Sucker Punch Sunday coming up this weekend. For those unfamiliar, pretty straightforward. Saturday, we dedicated to playing a sports game from the 3rd, 4th, and 5th or 6th generation. And the Sucker Punch Sunday feature we do is a fighting or fighting platform based game from that same time period, about 1984 to 2010. Also, you can follow us on Twitter at rretrocade if you can't help spread the word as we're trying to hit our goal of 100 subscribers as soon as possible. Sooner we do it, sooner I have to stop asking because it allows us to unlock the YouTube customization algorithms and make this channel bigger and better. And if there is a game you would like to see, let's feature on the channel from the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super Nintendo, the Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, or Mega Drive, SNK Neo Geo, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, or PlayStation 2, leave it in the comments below or drop me a tweet. Can be any game from those catalogs, and there are thousands to choose from. So don't be shy. Don't be bashful. If anything, it could be a one-day playthrough. Could be longer if it turns out to be a game that could warrant that sort of feature. But it's all about celebrating the history of games on this channel. All options are open. As long as it doesn't get me anything like an explicit tag, then I will give it a fair shake. If anything, I can give you a, a frank assessment of what I think of the game. And if it's one that you might want to try in the future if you haven't played it, or if it's one that you want to see celebrated. So with the housekeeping out of the way, where I left you on Monday is we were able to get one of the last dungeons we needed to finish which is the ancient castle which is the castle below Figaro castle in the desert it's a convoluted way to explain it but I didn't write the game and it's 27 years old too late to change it so what I've been doing today is I before I jumped on and started recording I did a bit more velt farming and I did a little bit of character building with the secondary characters I hadn't really used that much namely characters like Celis. I have Gao here because he obviously he's one of my heavy hitters but I went into a region that I hadn't gone into before called the Dino Forest, and for good reason. It's full of dinosaurs, which are some of the tougher beasties still in the game. I was looking for a 1 in 16 creature that you can fight called the Brachiosaur. I touched on it on Monday. Uh, if I can get a hold of one and try and steal from it, I can, in theory, finally get ribbons for all the members of my party, which I haven't been able to do yet. Uh, alas, that did not go very well. Quite frankly, I got my butt kicked. Because uh, again, these critters are quite robust. And my party, while Gao did lend a hand in some respects, uh, just was not up to snuff. So, what we're going to do today is we need to finish out Cayenne's storyline, which means we've got to go take care of... Doma Castle, which we've flown over a couple of times, but we haven't been to yet. So, in order to do that, I need to come down and change the party out. And obviously, because this is Cayenne's storyline, Cayenne is mandatory. Otherwise, what's the point of putting him in here? So, we have him. I need Shadow and or Gogo -Go because I need somebody who can steal. And I'm thinking because Gogo -Go also has Mash's Death Blow ability is one of his usable skills, and we can't really use Mash in this one. Or actually, we can use him. But the other character that we really need to utilize is Strago. And we need Strago according to the fact that I'm using. And again, I'm using my, my playthrough guide to assist me on this whole... Uh, multi-episodic journey we've been on uh, is through GameFAQs.com G-A-M-E-F-A-Q-S dot com. There's a million Final Fantasy VI facts to choose from and playthroughs to choose from. Choose carefully. Do your research. Not all of them are up to snuff. So what they're recommending is uh, is to bring Tina along, Strago, and then the fourth party member here 
because there is some really good things that we can swipe, we should get somebody who can steal. And right now with Gogo, he not only can he steal, I have him equipped to be able to mug. Uh, and mug, if you remember way, way back, uh, allowed uh, a character like Locke, who we still haven't gotten yet, uh, to be able to do damage while stealing simultaneously. And depending on the weapon, they can do a considerable amount of damage with each shot. So that's what we're going with. Uh, let me see. I need to see if I need to equip. I do. I need to equip with the... He's got the wizard rod. Punisher's not going to really help that much. The Kappa armor is better for magic defense, but the Behemoth suit is not bad overall. And I have at least a dozen of them by now. I've been trying to actually get them traded out over the Colosseum for better equipment because I have so many of them. The problem is, is that for reasons that are really annoying to me, uh, I haven't been able to beat the enemy that allows me to level up the behemoth suit into the next thing that I would need. Because if you can beat the enemy that has the behemoth suit, that gives you what's called the snow muffler, which protects you against ice attacks. Which we really don't necessarily need right now, right this absolute second. Still something nice to have in your back pocket in the event of an emergency. Uh, we should depart. Oops. I want to see really quick how we're doing for high potions and whatnot. Okay. So we'll get off the veld. And the Dino Forest, just in case you're curious about it, is this area right here north of the veld. And everything you encounter in there is big and bad. The worst part is, is that I kept getting just decimated thanks to having uh, pincer attacks befall my party from not just one but two tyrannosaurs and tr one tyrannosaurus is bad enough two is a real pain in the ass while I'm at it I need to make sure I have Him decked out here. Let's see, we're trying to give him. Uh, I need to give him. Well, actually, bearing in mind the fact that we're not even going to need use Cayenne for most of this part of the story, I actually don't need to give him anything. What I need to give is. Come on. And I should give him... The Wind Mantle, or even... The Grow Egg, to help him level up quicker. What I'm gonna do is just to make this a little bit easier, I'm just gonna give Cayenne... Where are they? I thought I had more pairs of them than that. I only have one pair of dash shoes? Alright, I'm gonna correct that while I'm here. Because we only need 3,900 for the potions. I believe there's the item shop is back here. the accessory shop, I should say. Old man, get out of the way. Nope, not it. Maybe this town doesn't have one. 
You have to remember that there are some towns that do not have things like accessory shops. We still can't go through that door. What I should also do before we head over to the castle... I should rest really quick. It's 200 gil, but that's fine, because Strago's MP was next to nothing. So, Doma Castle is on the island that is right past the snake's head in the Serpent Trench. So, right here is where we want to land. And I want to save it. Okay. Now we haven't been in this castle in quite a long time. The last time we were here was just after it had been poisoned by Kefka, maybe a third of the way, if that, through Act One. Now, I don't believe there's anything that we can pick up that we haven't already picked up before. Head for the bedroom and take a nap, so we need to go. If I remember, it's up here. Well, this was his room. Okay, not that way. This leads to the upstairs. Are we going here? Yes, we take a rest here. So, really, we could have taken a rest here and not worried about it. Now, when we wake up, we're all here except Cayenne. isn't waking up. Now, in the American version of this game, these three guys, I'm not kidding you, are Larry, Curly, and Mo. And for those of you who do not know who those three names are, they are the name of the classic early 19... 20 or I should say 1900s early 20th century comedians known as the Three Stooges so now we have been transported to the dreamscape and what we need to do is we need to get everybody else to wake up and then we will go fight Larry Curly and Mo. The issue is, is this map is quite large. But what this will do is it gives 
Strago a chance to learn more of his lores. But I'm glad I saved it when I did. Because we're dealing with an Allosaurus and three Parasites. And I also have a ton of Antidote still. Which will be helpful. So, he's gone and that gives us Terra back. So now it is two on however many. So let's see here. We need to make it back to door E. So back through this door should bring us... Ah, okay. So it brings us to different spots. If we come out at F... That won't help us. We need to go through door C, which is this one. And then... D. And that brings us to Go-Go. Now, hopefully, this is a skill that he will learn. Okay, and I need to give myself the ability to... Let's see what is good for taking these things out with. My guess is that will take out... No, it didn't. So everything that they're taking him down by is... At least proportional at this stage. Now that should have taught him quite a few things, I would hope. Level holy, but he has not learned absolute zero. All right, but now we've got all three of them back. We need to go up to this door. That brings us here. Now we have, we gotta make sure that we are equipped with stuff that will prevent us from getting hit with Petrify. So we need the, where is it? The Jewel Ring.
Okay, so we'll save it again. For the sake of argument, I did know we were going to end up there. Because it brings us back to this point. And now we have all three of us. Okay, so the Allosaurus doesn't have anything. And again, having Tina with the Minerva Bustier, which prevents her from getting hit hard by virtually every uh, elemental attack in the game. That's going to be a big help at this point. Okay, so we come through this door. Come down this way. We're going to fight them one more time. And again, having the Illusion Battle Dance available for Gogo, -Go, even though it's not going to be as much damage as you would get with uh, Mash, still nothing to sneeze at. Heal her really quick from the poison. I'll just straight mug this big floating jellyfish thing. Now we have the three brothers. And each one has his own different uh, perks. So Curly is the strongest of the three, and he uses status effects. And they all like to hit us with petrify attacks if possible. See if I can mug anybody here. Now this is their petrify attack. And because we're all wearing jewel rings, they whiff. And they'll cast white wind, which gives them a bit wow. Correction, it gives them a whole heaping hell of a lot of healing. So let's see here. Do I have sleep available? I do. See if I can get them to sleep again. Nope. Let's 
This should boost this a bit, which it did. And I'm gonna try and petrify a skin, which won't work. Now, Curly is gone. But now, he's gonna rape, try and raise him back. Fortunately, we have haste available. take out Curly again, or at least it should. Now, if I can get one of them before they cast Raise again, which I wasn't. Damn it. Because I need to take... I think that's Mo who's flying up top. I need to take him out. That way... They can't re-raise anybody else. She can keep casting magic. I wonder. Okay, so some of them are, they're, they're each Susceptible to a particular type of magic. Okay, and Curly's casting Reflect.
And now we just go ahead and hit him. Okay, well that takes care of the three brothers, finally. Sorry I didn't have much commentary for you there, but... With so much going on, I was trying to keep an eye on what was happening in... Oh man, and now we are back on the train. So last time we were on the train was with Cayenne. When we found out what happened to his family. And fortunately, there's a save point here. So we're going to go ahead and save because we're just at 30 minutes, a little over. So the timing can't be better. So what we'll do is in the next episode, we'll pick up here on the train and then see this through the rest of the way. So in the meantime, as always, if you can, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Bring the bell to be notified of the latest content. Remember, we got Sports Saturday and Sucker Punch Sunday coming up quick this weekend. Follow us on Twitter at RRetrocade. Help us hit our goal of 100 subscribers as soon as you can. And if there's any game you'd like to see us feature here on the channel from the 3rd, 4th, 5th, or 6th generation, leave it in the comments below or drop me a tweet. As always, my name is Ronan. It's been great to spend this part of Wednesday with you, and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye.